Every day, we need to explore relationships among increasingly diverse combinations of information. To do this effectively, we need graphics that can visually integrate many types of information, including combinations of quantitative, relational, temporal, hierarchical, geographic, categorical, or other diverse types of data all at one time. A good example of a data graphic that integrates 10 attributes in one display is Menard's dramatic visualization of Napoleon's unsuccessful march on Russia. This version was created with SAGE tools, a system developed at Carnegie Mellon University. The graphic shows Napoleon's march to Moscow during the hot summer of 1812 and his retreat in the freezing cold of the following winter. Each march segment is represented by a line whose thickness represents the number of troops still in the army and whose color indicates the temperature. As you can see, the army was reduced from 440,000 down to 100,000 by the time they got to Moscow and down to 10,000 by the end of the retreat. Temperatures were over 95 degrees during the advance, indicated by the red lines, and below zero during the retreat, indicated by the blue. Finally, the dates and sites of battles are labeled points on the map. The impact of the graphic results from the effective integration of geographic, quantitative, temperature, and other data using multiple properties of lines and clusters of labels and points. How can we create graphics like these that integrate so many different kinds of data in an informative way? Unfortunately, current graphics software actually does just the opposite, forcing us to isolate information into separate displays. Each chart type conveys only one type of data and must be selected from lengthy menus. No support is provided for combining graphics in new ways. What we need are tools which support different aspects of the process of designing graphics. First, we need tools that provide us with the ability to construct or assemble graphics from their basic elements, instead of selecting them from long lists or menus. Also, we need tools that provide us with expertise when we need it either because they provide us a way of searching through portfolios of graphics to find the right graphics for our purposes, or because they can design graphics automatically whenever we need it. The SAGE project at Carnegie Mellon is building systems that support exactly these processes. SAGE Tools is a direct manipulation environment which enables people to construct graphic designs from their elements and to search through large portfolios of previously created graphics to select those that meet the needs of the current purposes. The Sagebrush interface contains four parts. At the top is a palette of spaces or styles that represent charts, maps, tables, networks, and other techniques. On the left is a palette of points, lines, bars, and other objects that can be placed inside these spaces. The middle workspace is the area where these objects are placed to specify the desired graphic. At the bottom is a list of the data attributes that a user is currently working on. One way to create a graphic is to specify only the data to be displayed and directing Sage to make all the graphic design decisions automatically. In this case, we leave the work area empty, indicating no design preferences. While this graphic was designed automatically, it is also possible for users to specify the entire graphic interactively. Designing the same Napoleon March graphic in Sagebrush is a simple process of selecting a map space and a line object. Double-clicking on a graphical object reveals its properties as icons. Dropping data attributes on property icons tells Sage to express the data using the selected property. For example, the temperature attribute of the Napoleon March data is dropped on the color property icon of the line. Further information can be expressed simply by adding additional graphemes or spaces to the picture. We direct Sage to create a graphic based on this sketch. Any data items that are left unassigned are mapped to appropriate properties automatically. When generating a graphic, Sage honors the spatial arrangements like the relative positions of a label in a circle showing the name and location of a battle. It's also simple to use Sagebrush to redesign graphics in order to see different perspectives of the data by focusing on different data attributes and choosing different spaces, objects, and properties. 
For example, it's easy to change the Napoleon graphic to show east-west movements as a function of time on a chart instead of a map. Dates are viewed against the horizontal axis and east-west location on the vertical axis. This perspective visualizes the time course of the march, showing that the troops took much longer to get to Moscow than return. The blank spaces show how long they remained at each location. Finally, notice how this graphic better conveys the progress of the small contingent, which won a battle at the city of Pollock, stayed there all summer, lost a second battle there, and then joined Napoleon's retreating army in the winter. Finally, sagebrush can be used to create graphics using multiple coordinated spaces. A second chart space is vertically aligned with the first, and a bar is added to show troop size. Here the magnitude of the troop losses can be emphasized even more in the lower chart. Sagebook is a tool for browsing previously created graphics to get ideas for new designs. It's like perusing a portfolio of hundreds of finished graphics to find several that are relevant to your current goals. Sagebook makes this easy by automatically retrieving relevant previous graphics based on their appearance and the data they contain. For example, suppose we wanted to find data graphics that contain bars showing intervals. We use Sagebrush to partially sketch what we want and initiate a search. Searches can be narrowed or expanded by adding or removing more graphical objects in the sketch. It's also possible to use Sagebook to retrieve graphics based on the characteristics of data. This is like saying, find me graphics that were created for data similar to my data. In this case, no sketch is used, only the data of interest. Sagebook creates a sketch of the graphic it retrieved, so users can learn how to create it themselves or customize it in the work area. Sagebook will also automatically adapt a graphic that it finds if it doesn't match the current data completely. To summarize, Sage Tools consists of three components. Sage Brush, used to construct designs and make graphical queries. Sage Book, used to search a portfolio for relevant prior examples. And Sage, the knowledge-based foundation that makes these tools possible and also automatically completes or designs entire graphics on request. Our current work is extending Sage so that every graphic becomes an interface for manipulating data. First, the visibility of objects can be controlled using dynamic query sliders for both simple charts and composite graphics. Second, painting and brushing techniques can be used to coordinate related data across multiple displays. Third, Techniques for aggregating and decomposing data sets enable users to control the level of detail flexibly across a wide variety of data graphics that Sage generates. As a result, a useful set of data manipulation operations can be performed with the same interaction techniques across a wide variety of graphics. Finally, we're exploring ways of providing new visualization techniques, including 3D representation and navigation, as well as animation.